Hey, welcome back to Rogue Tech. Uh, we are in the Free Worlds League at Sackville here on the edge of the Free Worlds League near the Circinus Federation. Um, we're here um, upgrading our Argo and um, currently um, we've got a few things that we've upgraded but we're working on getting our automation up and then I think we're going to work on getting our hull structure up and running and then we're going to probably head back to the uh, Circinus Federation but while we're here we're going to go, in, go into our contracts here I'm going to pull off another mission today I think we're going to try for a robbery we're going to ambush a convoy here uh, in the lunar environment uh, we ran into problems uh, last time so if we quickly go to the mech bay we ran into problems last time with overheating uh, surprise surprise uh, so we're going to have a quick look at the fire starter here because we picked up a, an exchanger, a level 3 exchanger. Uh, I just want to see if we've got any room in here to drop it in and I don't know that we do. I think we do maybe. So how much, what's the weight of that exchanger? Let's go in here. So it is 3 tons. So if we drop 3 heat sinks we can drop this in and I'm hoping that's going to solve our problem. So let's take out 1, 2, and then this heat sink here, three, and we're going to put the exchanger in. Now, it's really hard to tell how well this is going to work until we get into combat, um, but we're going to go this route. Um, we're not losing any heat per turn, but minus 20% weapon heat is probably going to help out a fair bit because these flamers, I think, generate double the heat or more. Um, anyways, they're really, really hot. So let's confirm this. We're going to wait one day, and then we're going to go on this mission here. It's really tricky trying to figure out how much heat this uh, mech is generating. Because with the five flamers, um, you would think it's just 30 heat, right? With six each. But because it's a prototype mech, uh, it's, it's generating some weird amounts of heat with these flamers. Now the flamers do great damage, but I, I, I'm having a really hard time managing heat. So let's go on this robbery mission here. A team of Cir Circunusian agents has obtained the schedule and manifest of a local government convoy. This convoy's cargo, cargo is extremely valuable technological components. What we want you to st uh, sorry, we want you to steal them for us. Stage an ambush of the convoy, destroy the vehicles, and we'll send in a recovery team to gather the cargo. There's a bonus if you can secure the area and eliminate all the convoy guards. Well, most certainly we can do that. So let's negotiate this sucker. And I think since our monetary situation is going to be pretty good, we're going to go 4 of 18. Um, because it's a one and a half skull mission, chances are the defenders are going to be a lance of mechs. So we're going to try and grab some parts from them. And let's deploy and see how we do here. Command interface initiated. Oh, that's a weird place to land. Alright. Mechs on the ground, and where are they going here? Okay, so I don't think I've ever played on this map, which is unusual because I've played most of the maps here. So I think what they're doing is they're moving along here and coming up here. And since we start here, like they don't, I, do they really have a chance? Like, I mean, if we were really weak, it would be like, Good to go. you know, they would have no problem being able to pull this off, but I don't know if this is like, we get like to instantly engage these guys pretty much. But then again, I got to worry about the, all of them attacking me too, right? So let's just wait. We're going to reserve, let them all move first. See what they decide to do here. So I'm betting the convoy are all light vehicles. And the escorts are probably four light mechs. So let's reserve and see how long it takes. Copy that. Holding for the right move. So there could be a couple of medium ve yeah, it looks like there's a couple of medium vehicles. Alright, we're gonna reserve again. You go back right to turn one. So it looks like they don't have any heavy vehicles, so Alright, Flatliner, you got the speed. I want you to go in and find out what is going on here. Oh sorry, height. Confirm. Let's see if what we can see down in here. So what do we got? We got a whole lot of shiz down here. Panther 8Z. Commando 2C. So this guy's got to die fast. 
He's fully armored. Wolf found, that's not good. Light LRM carrier, that's gotta go. Striker LRM. That's okay. King Scorpion. I can have five ultra. Okay, so let's do this. We can only target this guy. So I'm going to go all out because I think next turn I am going to retreat him behind the hill. So let's make that guy a little worried. Yep. Now what we want to do is I think we want to target what we can kill here. So the light LRM carrier, I know we can kill with one shot. This guy probably not. If I get lucky, I can kill him with the PPC. Um, but let's move. Let's sprint it up here. We are going to go after this vehicle. Um, and we're just going to do it with our PPC. Taking the shot. Okay, so three LRM10s off the board. Alright, now with Vein Skater, how far can we get with you? Okay, you can see... Clan 2C mech. So I want you... Oh, you can only hit him with the tag. Well, let's just fire the tag then. Nothing. Alright, I think what I want to do... It looks like they've only got three escorts. I would have thought they would have had a full lance of escorts. Unless I'm not seeing a vehicle somewhere. Which is a possibility. So let's move up here. They're all going to go again before uh, Flatliner, but that's fine. I think what I want to do is maybe try and hit this Striker. Or should we go after the Commando 2C? This is the guy I want to try and get parts from. So I don't know if I want to hit him too hard. What do we got here? Hmm. We've got time to get those vehicles. So let's get this panther. Welcome to my Okay, head hit on him. Alright, so one of their guys is going to move. Okay, vehicle goes first. Okay, cool. So we're going to move the fire starter out of there now. Order. I think what we're going to do is we're going to rotate height in and out. So he's going to sprint back behind the hill here. He'll cool off for a turn and then dart back in and we'll go after that uh, clan mech. So not really good. A little few hits, but not much. So Ground Zero is going to move back slightly. Not a lot, but just a little bit. And we're going to open up on our Panther here. Since this guy's the guy we're targeting to get rid of damage wise. Let's see if we can get a CT hit on him. Oh, but we can take his arm and torso off. That's fine. Inflicted some heavy damage. So let's see if he goes next. He does. Okay, so he's avoiding shutdown. This is bad environment for them to be in. Okay, so we're going to move up here. We're going to unload everything on this guy. So I'm going to try and get him off the board here. So he's tagged. Wolf found I'm not too worried about. He's going to overheat really fast once he tries to shoot people. I don't know what the hell he was shooting out with that large laser. Low flying asteroid or something? I don't know. So Gorgon, this guy has got a lot of armor. A whole lot of armor. Alright, I could soften him up, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to back up over here. And we're going to put some more missiles down on this Panther. See if we can get him out of here. Primitive. Yeah, he freaked out. I don't blame him. 
Okay, so their medium vehicles are going now. So that's just an LRM-15, not a big deal. It's this Gorgon I'm worried about. So we got three vehicles on the road. Okay, so that's a miss. So that's probably the last we'll hear of him for a bit. But we're going to need to make short work of these mechs real fast. So height. Now coming back into the battle. We're going to come down and visit this clan mech. We're going to alpha strike him. So thinking this is probably a better way to do it on the lunar environments. Because height's got such a good speed, we're going to dart in and out like this. And we're going to unload all our flamers on him. All five hit. He should shut down. Nice. Now they gotta take a turn powering them back up again. Battle mech power up detected. Okay. And then what we the can fuck? engage Van Skater now. And we'll bring him probably down here. We're not gonna fire everything this time because it'll probably overheat us, but we'll leave the Goss mag shot off. Because we do want to try and claim as much off of this commando as possible. So we're just gonna fire our SRM. Tag, narc, keep them nice and toasty. That way we should be able to keep uh, height down there. Okay. Now, oh, let's awesome. see. Ooh, I can get a shot on the six of that. Uh, how much armor does he have in the back? 127. Mm, I think I'm better off attacking this guy down here. So let's shoot the wolfhound. Maybe we can blow his arm off. Almost. Okay. That works for me. What is he shooting at? Yep, Commander. I'm walking here. Okay. Wolfhound again. Yeah, we still got lots of heat, so let's uh, shoot at him. Everything. Left arm off. Not unstable, but that's all right. Swimming. Don't you? So that's their LRM carrier. Really low chance to hit, so I'm not worried. Yeah, that was like nowhere near him. There's like an invisible shield there somewhere. TVM 10, nothing. All right, height. Ready to rock. Let's just walk around behind this guy. You got it. Now we can use, they're all 99% chance to hit. Look at that, we'll use three flamers on him and shut him down. The wrong way, pal. That's a lot of damage. So they're gonna need to sh they're gonna need to power him back up again. Battle mech power up detected. Now I think I'll take ground zero around. Can, can we get on the flank of this uh, wolfhound? Yeah, right there. Understood. I want to try and take that arm off. Not really concerned about uh, the salvage from this guy. If we get good salvage off him, great. If not, I'm not really that worried about it. There's that Ultra 5. Okay, so Van Skater, we're going to bring him down here and we're going to attack. This time we're going to attack the Wolfhound. Leave it, leaving the Pulse Laser off and the Small Laser off. We're just going to attack him with the SRMs. Add a little bit of heat to him. Limit what he can fire. Uh-oh, is he going to punch? Uh, not a, how is that a miss? How is that a miss? It looked like it hit me right in the face. Well, if you turn your back to a trebuchet, you know, you deserve what you get. Unload everything, please.
Yeah, it's like there's a shield up here or something. Uh, something weird. I have no idea what it is, but it's like there's it's hitting something above everybody. I, I have no idea. What are your orders, Skipper? Kind of feels unfair, but um, I didn't make the game. All right, let's Copy unload that. three more flamers in this guy. Oh, we get two hits anyway. 44 heat. Let's see what he does. Oh, the wolfhound's moving first. Okay. Oh, he hit me there. All right, Vanskater's going to come around to the side of the uh, the 2C over there before he moves. Let's see if we can shut him down again. Put everything on this guy. The SRM's narc and tag. That should be enough, I think. Yep. So he's not doing anything again this turn. So once I think we take out this uh, Wolfhound, um, I think the sprinting is adding an awful lot of heat to these guys. But once this Wolfhound is gone, the Panther and the uh, um, Thunderbolt or uh, Trebuchet are going to move off and attack those other guys. He's going to be done this turn. Because we're going to need to, there's a lot of damage that's All needed right. on those vehicles, so we're going to need to get in there really fa really uh, soon and start applying that damage. So let's do this. Rolling. We're going to leave the medium lasers off. Fire all the missiles. There we go. Okay, so we're going to leave these two guys down here to take care of this commando. Looks like there's some kind of weird, weird shield there. I don't know what the hell. TBM. Miss. He's probably got like a 1% chance to hit from there. But that tank should be coming around anytime soon now, so let's get up here. Oops, let's not do it that way though. Let's get uh, height going first. Let's come around the back where it's easier to hit him. Roger that, Commander. Gonna go with three flamers again. Okay, three hits. Okay, Van Skater. Moving to a different position. I don't want to apply the damage and all was in the same spots. That should shut him down. He just does not want to leave. Does not want to bail out. Okay, we need to get up here. I hope I can get up here. Okay, we're on the road now. TBM 10. It's like it's exploding above his head or something, I don't know. Alright, back to the side again. Affirmative, Commander. Can only do two this time. But he's plenty toasty already, so it's not like not like he's going to be doing much. I think what I might try and do here... Let's start making this guy a little more worried. So I am going to try for a headshot with everything here. Nope. He can move, but it's not like he's going to be doing much. Okay, let's get up here. Set up for the ambush over here. I'm your spaniel. I am the wind. 
You are the wind. You're breaking wind, that is. Is he gonna melee? He's gonna melee. Oh, you mean business now, don't you? He's so short and cute. Dude, you gotta bail out. Please, just bail out. Ready to rock. You're embarrassing yourself here. Let's go on this side. I got you. Try not to blow weapons off here. Engage. Shut him down. Ah, there goes his arm. That hit something good. Okay. Battle mech power up detected. Van Skater coming around the front again. Fight, gonna try an offensive push once again. Try for a headshot. Actually, how badly damaged his leg? 42. Uh, let's just try for a headshot. Okay, we're in position to receive these vehicles now. I await your command. Hmm. There's a vehicle there. Can't quite see him yet, so let's move up right. over here. I think that's the uh, LRM carrier. Um, so he's going on turn three. Let's wait for them to move. Um, let's just use two flamers. Yeah, I'm concerned that we're not going to be able to get that guy. Okay, he's just not going to move. We're just going to fire straight on him. Fire all the heat missiles. Okay, he's shut down. So that vehicle moved, so now we can get over and get a shot on him. So we're just going to walk over here. Uh, still the King Scorpion. 93. If we get his turret, we can kill him. Or one of the sides. Nice. Reporting one last vehicle. Battle mech power up so they're in, their, they're in an ambush zone now. So he's going to reserve. We'll wait for them to Take come into to, to range here. If he decides to come into range. Okay, TBM-10 misses. So that thing does like 40 damage, so I'm going to have to be careful about that. So let's just move up here. Unloading our missiles on this guy. Show him what a real missile strike looks like. A oh, present for you there, buddy. Okay, Commando, once again. Goes on turn four. Ah, valiant attempt. <laughs> he shut himself down. Well, that helps me out. Okay, so now I have to decide. Let's attempt legging this guy. So what has he got here? Got to think about this here for a second. So 101 in that leg left. 42 in that leg. I don't think he's taken any pilot hits yet. So let's move. What are your orders? So height can do 45 per that, flamer. So let's do this leg. Three, 
four flamers. So we're attacking the right side, so that should be okay, I think. Hopefully we can take that leg out. Oh, there was three. Oh, how close were we? Eleven left. Really? <sighs> okay. So next... So we don't let this uh, vehicle fire. Let's move. I gotta move someplace. Let's move here. Moving to position. And just shoot straight on this guy. Aye, aye. There we go. I'm saving my my double strike the with the. Uh, ER medium for the other vehicle. Roger that. Standing by. Let's see what he does. Okay, that's a miss. That's a miss. Distance holding. So that guy hits with everything. We're it could be bad. So let's move back here. fire with our missiles, soften them up a little bit. Hit with almost all of them, that was really good. So how are we looking here? Well, we didn't really do much, did we? <laughs> it's going to be a few turns before he dies. Alright, so let's move out front here. Well, still on the side, I guess. So we're going to target this guy. He's got 11 left in this leg? 11. So let's leave the SRMs off. Um, Goss mag shot will come on. Small laser will come on. And we can leave these two off for now. And let's just go after this leg. Nice. Taking a critical hit. So we should be going before him next turn. And hopefully we can finish that other leg off. It's about the only way we're going to defeat that guy, I think. Standing by. All right, so we're backing up to here. Copy that. And we're going to shoot on this vehicle. We're going to go with both weapons. No, we're not. <laughs> the heat is crazy. 92, was that a turret hit? I think it was. No, it was a front hit. Nice, the missiles might be able to take care of them. All right, so Vanskater, once again, since you've got good pinpoint Roger. weapons. Let's go after this other leg. So we're going to use um, medium pulse. It's, we need 42, right? 42 and he's got what? 9 there? It's 51. So if we get lucky and hit, that's 45. So we need to shoot with both of these guys and go after this leg. Let's hope we hit with both. Ugh. Did we get one of them, though? One? Just one? All I want is one. We got one. Okay, cool. So let's take height and move them over here. Going to use two flamers, and we're going to go after this leg. Although the flamers do 45 damage. But i got to ensure that I get the leg, so let's use two. Did I not get it? Are you kidding? Guy, really? Really? Well, at least he can't really do anything. He's just going to stand up. Alright, let's hope we get some good missiles hitting the front of this guy. Come on, front armor, front armor. There they come, right in the front, right in the front, right in the front. There we go. Nice. So this is a lot longer mission than I thought this was going to be. The last hurrah. My old mama can hit harder than that. I know your mama and I know she can hit harder than that. Alright, let's go. Bain skater, side. Position confirmed. See if we can get that leg. Just going to go with the Goss mag shot. Uh, 
six, nine. Okay. Defensive push in that leg. Let's see if we can get it. Copy that. Yes. Was that a leg hit? It was a leg hit. Cool. So at least we get some good salvage off that. I'm hoping for some clan lasers. It's not that like, like, like they offer that much more of a benefit, but the fact that they got longer distance means that we don't need to close as often with the enemy. So 750 XP across the board, no real damage per se. We got a little bit of CT damage over here, a little bit of back torso damage over here, but that's about it. And Commando 2C part C. Now we might get lucky. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Well, we won't get a Commando 2C, but you never know. We might get lucky and get all five parts. Panther parts, wolf found parts. So doesn't look like there's any clan stuff. What? Maybe we just destroyed all the good stuff, really? <sighs> well, you can't have everything. XL, oh, Exchanger, nice. Take that for sure. Uh, Engine XL Clan, two and a half million. Um, that's some good cash, let's take that. Breaching shot include and increase sensors and sight distance. I'm gonna take that. Clan double heat sink. Just throw that in there for now. Clan endo steel. I think we'll probably get more use. I'm gonna keep the XL engine because we want to sell it. I'm gonna lose this cockpit for now. And I'm gonna take the clan endo steel. The fact that it's own it's seven reserve slots means we can cram a lot more into our mechs and we're gonna be using this on a lot of stuff. So let's go that route and see what we get. Oh no no commando parts, no two Panther parts, three wolf found parts. Not bad. And then uh oh, SRM four streak. And uh clan double heatsink. Okay, cool. Did we take that? We did take that. So never mind. Okay, well, not a bad little bit of loot there. The exchanger will be definitely beneficial. Um, I really want to test out that fire starter on a regular world. Just to see what kind of heat we're getting out of that, because this was on Martian and mo lunar worlds. It's just insane how much heat's generated. Even with that uh, exchanger in there, it's really not helping. Maybe I just cram double heat sinks in. Maybe that's the better route to go. So 7,000, not bad at all. Barely took any damage from our guys here. So let's just repair everybody here. Job's done, Commander. Nice and repaired. You asked for are online. Argo upgrade is repaired. So let's go to the... Uh, um, engineering section. We're going to go to ship upgrades again. So we've got our um, automation up and running here. So now we're just going to quickly choose structure, which is I think 90,000. Yeah, it's 15 days. Purchase right. that. So we'll be here for another half a month. Uh, maybe another well, maybe another month. Maybe I might take one more thing. Um, let's go to the store and sell a few things here to see how we're, well we're doing. Uh, we're going to need to sell some stuff before the end of the month, which is I think only five days away now. So we've got a couple of XL engines that we can sell. Um, gonna sell the clan XL. I'm not 100% sure if it functions just like um, Inner Sphere XL, where if you torso the side, it explodes. Um, I'm thinking it does, but we're gonna sell this one for sure. Actually, you know what? We'll hang we'll hang on to that one for now, just until I find out if we can. Uh, use it or not without jeopardizing our mech. Um, one clan double heat sink. We can sell the one jump jet. Don't really need that. We're going to get this um, endo steel implemented at some point. Uh, let's quickly go up. Uh, TBM 10. Let's hang on to that. SRMs, rocket launchers. I don't know. Light rifle we don't really need. Let's sell that. Going to hang on to the heavy PPC for now. Um, the LRMs we'll hang on to. Um, 
Oh, large laser minus we don't need, so let's sell that. Um, medium double plus, we should probably put this on our uh, trebuchet. I think we were meaning on doing that. Um, double plus flamer. So let's just go that route. So we're okay till the end of the month. We got 900,000 now, so we're good. All right. So once we're back here, so our boys are back in town. So we got three more days till the next financial report. When we come back, we'll finish up our structural repair. Um, probably pull off one more contract. We go to the command center here real quick and look at our contracts. Um, there's no more. There's no more Circinus uh, Federation stuff here, but we might do um, turn the tables here, which is basically destroying a base for the uh, local planetary government, or we might do intelligence agency. I'm intelligence agent. I'm not sure. Um, this would definitely give us more money and better gear, but um, some of the lunar base uh, missions can be really uh, hazardous depending on which one you get. So uh, yeah, we'll just leave it for that. We'll just leave it like that for now, and uh, until next time, uh, this is me signing off, and we'll see you later.